Okay. Hi, and thank you for joining this SAP community call. My name is Mini Chao, and I am part of the SAP community team. And I'm really happy to have Tammy Paulus today with us, a big influence and very active member of the SAP community, also SAP mentor. And um, just for you, some housekeeping notes, as Tammy already mentioned, feel free to type in the chat if you have comments and also use the Q&A functionality to ask questions whenever you want. And we can have this as an interactive session and but also have time at the end if you have questions. Yeah, so Tammy, okay. give it a start. Okay, thank you, Menina, and uh, thank you for having me, and welcome, everybody. My name is Tammy Pallas, as Menina said, and I'm from, um, I'm kind of joining today from Northern Virginia, just outside uh, Washington, D.C., home of the World Series uh, Washington, D.C. Nationals uh, baseball champions. So thank you for joining us today, and I also have Christian Brockmuller's name on this because he and I did a session last year at TechEd. And he was gracious enough to loan me his slides. And so these are, these are his slides and his style. So I'm, I'm grateful to Christian for sharing that with me. So today, uh, this is our agenda. We give an introduction to the SAP community and how you can interact. And you know, what are the results of the interacting with the community in some summary? And I, I also uh, crowdsource this on the SAP community with a lot of great feedback and I'll share that at the end. So, you know, what is the SAP community? So, you know, for, for a lot of us, it's the, the site, but it's also going to events and it's, you know, the blogs and the forums and the comments, but there's also a lot of SAP inside tracks um, around the world. You know, in the United States, we have ASIG chapter meetings, uh, America's SAP user group chapter meetings, so, and, and local events. So, there are a, a lot of, uh, uh, the SAP community isn't just online. It also includes, you know, the physical events. So what is the SAP community? So I'm talking today about the SAP community and the, the SAP community network, or it's, now it's just called SAP community, is the SAP profo uh, professional site. It provides online connections to the community of you know, SAP customers, partners, and employees, and others. Great, it contains a great deal of knowledge and insights and content about SAP. It started back in 2003, and I think I, I joined it in 2004 when I was at my previous company. And I, to be honest, I was mostly a lurker. Um, uh, and, but it's grown in scope and depth and size with over 2 million members. And it's a large public online community encouraging an open exchange of information. So you can see on the slide, the site's community.sap.com. It contains areas all across SAP. A lot of the content is cu cu uh, curated by the moderators and, and people like Manita, the global moderators. And you can contribute at blogs.sap.com or you can ask or answer questions at answers.sap.com. So, you know, what's in it for you? I mean, to me, to me, the community uh, extends your reach into the SAP ecosystem. The SAP ecosystem is huge. Um, so it, and it provides professional networking with your peers. Um, so real world connection to your peers. I'm always learning every day, education and content. I mean, I've learned so much, you know, I was able to archive workflows on my own based on one blog from Paul Bacher. And that was very nice to him to, to, to share that. I'm learning all the time. Um, and you can uh, find your solutions quickly. And, you know, it's, it's much easier to find it on the site rather than putting in an SAP uh, support ticket because that's very time consuming and you don't know when you're going to hear back from SAP support. So to me, and it also provides a lot of awareness of what's going on with SAP. So, but I think you, you get more of your investment when you contribute. I, I've learned a lot more by contributing than just, just lurking than like I was before. So to me, it's, it's, um, it's a, a true learning experience. So 
how do you interact with the community? And I'm mostly gonna talk about online. Of course, we got the questions and answers where you can search and um, ask questions if you have a, a problem, but, but I would really recommend searching before you ask. I, I don't, when I looked at my dashboard, it looks like I've asked about seven questions and a lot of them were about how the site was functioning, not anything necessarily about how, you know, I have an issue with how my SAP system is functioning. And I like um, to always to say, this is a great way to build your reputation by answering questions and, and you can learn from the questions. I've learned all sorts of, of great transactions in our SAP ERP system that I didn't know we were, you know, that they were there until somebody asked a question about it. I'm like, okay, well, let me go check this transaction. And, and a lot of them are, are, are useful to us. And so we've, we started using them in our system. So, you know, when you answer questions, it's a great way to learn and help build your reputation. And it's a great way to network and to me, you establish your reputation, you know, by sharing knowledge and growing your skill sets and, and developing expertise. And, and the second bullet point, when you answer questions, to me, it's, you know, you're that theme of learning, networking, and succeeding. You can learn about best practices and upgrades and what other companies are doing. You know, it's a get and give type of situation. You can get high quality answers from others just like you, or you can give high quality answers. And it's a great way to network with others, you know, about what's going on in the SAP system. And you could share your challenges and best practices that can help, um, you know, achieve, achieve success for, your, for you and your company. And to me, you succeed, you know, by you're establishing a reputation by sharing your knowledge and growing skills and developing expertise. And I feel like I've done that. You know, I've learned archive, how to do archiving in our SAP system from the SAP community. So these are things that you can, can learn on your own. Um, you know, how to deploy, you know, a lot of, a lot of discussion about s on-premise in the cloud. So it's a great, great way to get and give advice to the community. And I think it's a great way to um, problem solve uh, solutions, you know, any questions or answers you may have. So, I thought I'd record how I try to answer questions in the community and is it playing? I can't tell how I answer it. So hopefully, oops, let me, let me, I don't know why that's not playing. So I have to play it. Okay, so hopefully it's playing now. So I, you know, I have a link and it only takes a few minutes and I've got a filter on no answers. And so I'll just scan it. You, know, you can follow tags, I follow tags too, but a lot of times I'll just go in the community and see what's going, what's going on. And so, EW Consultant says DPT, his data transfer process is, is getting failed. So what I might do, you know, I'll look at it and I'll, I might comment to him to search for the error message. You know, if I know what the answer is, I'd give it to him, but I might comment and say, well, why don't you search for this, for this error message? And that's, um, that's feedback I would give to this poster um, and see what the, see what the issue is. Now blocks, you know, I started out, you know, in the community interacting about 10 years ago, I started, you know, by, you know, blogging. And I, you know, when before, um, I would always take notes of every single webcast I attended, you know, mostly through ASUG. And I'd post them on ASUG.com, but not get a lot of interaction. So I started doing that with the community um, and blogs tell stories. And so you can see on the top one, the, the, uh, five most common mistakes in the in a business intelligence project. He got over twenty five thousand views. So also, I, I like to share you know what sessions you may want to go to, like at ASIG annual conference or TechEd. And I do write a lot about um, webinars and what's coming next. And to me, I, I learn by sharing. And one thing um, when I started out ten years ago, Dennis Howlett. Um, of D Diginomica, he always said, you blog for yourself. And that's what I do, I blog for myself. You know, if you get value out of it, great, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna blog for myself. So I feel like I've, I've learned a lot through blogging too. Now blogs take more time than answering questions, I think, so it's, it's kind of a commitment. And you know, you do need to follow the community rules of engagement, you know, no plagiarism, and always provide proper attribution. You know, if I've got a slide from SAP, 
I'll always put, you know, source SAP. So those are things to, to remember. Um, and you can also follow the blogs. And one thing um, that I, I do want to mention is, uh, yeah, it's, it's important to give feedback on blogs too, and I'll get to that later. So how to blog? Well, you'll definitely want to review the community guidelines. And then an early blog from, I think, 2004 from Brian McKellar. Um, and I don't always follow this, but I thought it was great advice. Um, he suggests drafting, you know, have a draft blog. I do do a draft blog. The other thing he suggests is proofreading your blog. I do not always do that, but I think that's something to, to keep in mind. Now, when I started 10 years ago, I started out as a junior blogger. So all my blogs would have to go through an approval process. And then somebody would have to recommend me to go to the next level. And it's different now. But I remember when Jim Spath, who's now an SAP champion, he recommended that I move, be moved to expert blogger. I got an email from Marilyn Pratt, who used to work from SAP. She said, she said, you're doing great with your blogs, but you really need to include more images in them. Because, you know, people aren't going to want to just read text. And I thought that was great feedback that, you know, I hadn't been doing. And so it's nice, it's nice to get some more constructive um, feedback on how to, to better blog. So that's the feed, feedback I thought I would share. Um, and I also liked uh, what Raphael Herman, who's the uh, SAP member of the month for December, he said, uh, do not doubt, write. So I thought that was, I, I liked what he said. So I thought I'd quote him uh, today. Now, one thing I want to say, you know, it'd be great if you could like and give feedback. In this example, Noel, he's been a longtime member. He doesn't blog very much. So I thought, you know, he wrote a nice blog last week. I thought I'd, you know, like it and give him feedback. So he did, I think he did a great job. So if you read a blog, you know, take the time. And if you like it, take the time to just click the, uh, the like uh, button and comment on it. I think that's pretty, I think that would be great if you could give some feedback to the blogger because it's, it's, it does take time. And, you know, most people do it on their own time and, and including a lot of the SCP employees. I know, I know they, they give back to the community on their own time. Now, here's what I do. You don't always have to do that, but I like to draft my blogs in another tool and then I copy in the HTML so it's like another way of proofreading. So I'm not, um, I've had situations when, when I haven't done this where I've accidentally published and I can't bring it back <laughs> to draft. So um, that's one thing I recommend is, is drafting somewhere else. You know, you might wanna use Word or you might wanna use another tool or something like that and then come into the community and write your blog and make sure you've got the right tags and the right categories. So can't remember what this one is, te a technical article, and it had to do with, um, to me, I, I wouldn't, you know, some, some people put tons of tags. I wouldn't do more than five. I think that used to be the rule in the older site because it, it begins to be too much. So it's hard to know what your topic is really about. And this topic was about managing data volume management. So that's, that's one thing I wanted to highlight here and, and try to use the right tags as well. And then you can also use some user tags. So since this dealt with ASUG, I put ASUG, and then you wanna save it in proofread, like uh, Brian McKellar said, you wanna proofread your tags uh, and, and proofread your blog and then um, publish it when it's ready. So, you know, what are the results of interacting with the community? And, and everybody's got a different story. And I, um, I thought I um, would share what's happened with me. Um, of course, you can um, see in your, your own overview, if you go to people.sap.com, and in my case, I'm Tammy.palace3, um, you have a profile. And you can see my profile file on the right. Of, I've got my followers and who I'm following. So you have an SAP profile, why would you, why would you want another profile? What about over LinkedIn? Well, you know, the SAP community has badges and missions, and there's, there are a lot of uh, reputation elements, such as, you know, the roles. You'll see on, on mine, I'm a moderator and, and a mentor. And you can see on the right, it's got the followers and um, 
following and, and you can select your top five badges. So I'll get into more about uh, the badges and, and missions a little bit later. Now, I really encourage you to update your profile if you want to interact with the community. You can just go to people.scp.com and then there's a tutorial in this link that helps you um, update your profile, tell who you are, put a picture of yourself, because it's always better to interact when you see somebody's picture. And uh, Sue, Sue Cohen, who's an SCP champion, she has some tips that I include in here. I think that, that uh, you may want to consider as well. So, how missions and badges improve your profile? Well, the community has several missions to help improve your profile. Some are for answering questions, some are for blogging, some are for special events like SAP Tech Ed or SAP Inside Track, or completing the tutorials on um, you know, uh, developers.scp.com. And then you can see on my screen, I've gotten a lot of badges for completing open SAP courses. So, um, and those are at open.sap.com. And then also prior to the launch, those badges are shown as well. So it's a good way to recognize your past, uh, your expertise and your contributions. And it's, to me, it's a really nice user experience. And Hopefully it helps with quality and engagement and it gives the ability for you as an SAP community member to see, see somebody's reputation. And also I think missions help encourage quali con contributing quality content and engagement um, on the site. So then one thing, um, when I was pulling this together last week, I, I noticed a kind of a pleasant surprise when I went to my training link, um, I got, I had a badge that I, I you know, I know I, I went to Tech Ed and as a Tech Ed attendee, I joined the Tech Ed learning room and I saw a blog post, we'll take this quiz and we'll issue you a badge. So I took the quiz on analytics solutions and I think I got nine out of 10 questions right. And a few days later, they, they email me, you've got a badge and you can claim it. And it's a nice surprise to me. I also see it on the SCP community site as well. So um, before it was always empty. So this is just recent. You can see it was issued November 16th. So that's another way to, to build your reputation. Kind of a, it was a surprise to me that this happened, but it's a nice surprise and something that you could check out as well if you happen to go to Tech Ed and, and take the quiz and pass it and you'll you get a nice badge. So you can, and this badge you can also share on LinkedIn as well. So now karma, karma, um, karma relates to your questions and answers and uh, the karma credits include the previous lifetime uh, points and they help, um, uh, help members keep track of how you're doing in the answer system and you can see this is this is a uh, my karma credits if i've answered a question i got 10 points or somebody upvoted my answer i got two points so it's a nice way to um, see how you're doing um, and motivates motivates you to give quality contributions and if you see somebody answer a question encourage you to to vote it up I personally don't do the vote down thing. I, if I don't like somebody's answer, I'm, I might comment to them, of course, in, in a polite way and say, you know, well, and, so, and, and I, I'm grateful when other members have done that for me. I know uh, Eli Klossy, he did that with me the other week. He commented on my answer because he said, I, you know, I don't think this is what this person means. This is what they mean. And I'm, I was grateful that, that he did that. So um, sometimes, you know, I might not read the question the same way as somebody else does. So encourage you to vote up and you know instead of voting down I would encourage you to comment back to the poster of, of why you may not like their answer so that's that's just my my two cents and my opinion I'm not speaking for anybody else so your connections and your people and this is on your your dashboard it's a really nice dashboard and you can see the content and I can't can't believe I've had over 1800 blog posts that's that's a lot um, and I, I see I had zero coffee corner discussions. That's changed and, and you'll see that in a little bit. But uh, you can see also in your reputation, the missions you've earned and the missions available to you and your accounts and settings. And again, the, uh, the, the um, followers and following. So 
um, encourage you to check out your dashboard. So, you know, you see all these icons, you know, and, and what do they mean? So Carolee Deneen on the SAP community team, she's, she's got the SAP icon and the moderator icon. And, to, and some backstory, Carolee's the one who did, did a, most of the designs for the badges. So she, she's done a great job. So really like the way the, the badges look and everything. And it's a credit to Carolee. Then Sue Cohen, who I've mentioned, she's a moderator, a mentor alumni. You see that exclamation point, the gray screen, and an SAP champion. And then Jocelyn Dart. Jocelyn is an SAP employee, an SAP technology investor, and a mentor alumni. So it's it's it. This is you know when you see these icons, you you understand what they mean. So now I'm going to summarize, and it might be a little bit longer than than normal. So, you know, do you blog or answer questions? You know, where should you start? And I, you know, my own personal journey is I started blogging and I was a blog moderator. And to be honest, I didn't have the confidence. To, I didn't think I was that good to answer questions. And then when we switched to Jive, I don't remember if that was 2012 or whenever, you know, Golly Kling Schneider, she said, okay, if you're gonna be a moderator, you need to be both and you need to look at what's going on in your, in your space. And that's what pushed me to help to do answering questions. And I liked again what Raphael said about he 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 prefers blogging, um, and he says one has to say the feedback uh, rate on answers is is demotivating. And I've got a comment about that later. You invest time, you write an answer, and a lot of follow ups. But he said it, it wouldn't stop him, and he felt that the he get got more of uh, achieve, a sense of achievement about blogging. So. That's, that's, I think that's interesting. Um, but from, what, from my side, answering a question only takes a few minutes. You know, you, uh, I gave you a recording, that was like a 30, second, 30 seconds of looking, looking at the queue and answering questions. And you know, my answer, my acceptance rate isn't, isn't that high. Um, but for me, if there's no response on your, your, your answer, you move on. You know, and maybe the moderator will accept it, um, the answer instead of the poster. So you just, to me, just let it go and, and move on. And then I mentioned Sue Cohane. She's an SAP champion, and she wrote a nice blog. She said, um, and some of it uh, recaps what we talked about here, you know, create your community idea with something resembling a name. So uh, like the one I, I showed you before, BW Consultant, that's pretty generic, you know, I'd rather know that it's somebody like Sue. And, and do put a picture in your profile. She said, let us know more about you. Um, go to your favorite space and follow it and check out the Q&A and follow people that interest you. And she said they'd probably uh, follow back. Search before you post a question and then follow up. That's just what Raphael was saying was demotivating. If you've asked a question and gotten answers, try to respond in a reasonable time. So that's, I think that was, that was really good advice and she said I could use it here, so. And then I crowdsourced this and um, so I asked, you know, people what they, you know, some feed, some input on this session and they said to, to share your experience, Joaquin says share your experience by writing blog post and Del, um, Del answers a lot of questions, you know, she says to jump in and answer questions and even if you do have to do a bit of research and make sure you've read the question thoroughly, and I've been guilty of not doing that myself. So I really encourage you to, to check that out. And then I'm going to see if this works. Let's see, I don't have that. Okay, well, I, I might try it towards the end. So um, to me, you, you increase your brand by contributing to the community, but you also learn by helping others and um, you network with others to connect about new things and um, helping your career. And you, to me, you establish your reputation by sharing your knowledge and growing your skill sets. And um, I always felt that contributing is, an, is a noble cause. And um, Stephen Johannes, uh, a former community member, he, he, he said, the more community members participate, the more we can maximize the exchange of information. And he said, in the end, this helps all members resolve their issues faster and we maximize the value we receive. So, and I already talked before about learn networking and concede. 
and succeeding. And then there's also the message, connect, collaborate, and contribute. So you're invited. And I've got another message from, um, from Sue about the SCP community, about the ebb and flow. But as we all contribute, it increases the amount of information out there and that gives us a better chance at solving our problems and giving someone else a leg up. And also Tom Seenan's an SAP mentor, you can't stop me now. So I, I do want to bring up, I don't know if I can, that link's not coming up for me. So I'm gonna try and share another link. Let's see, where is it? Is that that? No, it's not that one. Boy, I thought I had it. Oh, here it is. So here, you know, I crowd, I, this is my first coffee quarter discussion. You know, I asked for feedback, um, what they would do, what others would do. Mahesh has some uh, feedback, write the blog post, give proper feedback, um, tag people. Um, and then Helena, um, Helena is a great uh, community member. She, she believes it should be about sharing with the community and building your reputation. She's absolutely right. And that's, um, that's the way it should be. And she's suggesting genuine and sincere, um, small things matter. Your comment, even if it's critical, means you read the post and took the time to, to uh, reply. Think of how you can add for the whole community, not just yourself, uh, Faisal. Um, says knowing what a community wants to be known for um, is also important. Um, Barbell, she said um, uh, what others uh, have written, plus realizing community will only work as a two-way street if people who, if are actively involved by providing input and not, not just lurking like I used to do. And then uh, Lakshmi, he's, he, he mentions the rules of engagement, <laughs> don't hijack um, old questions, upvoting, um, then uh, Joaquim has more, I think Joaquim has a, an old, his own side about the community tags. And I, Craig is probably the, one of the uh, longtime community member. He was a former moderator. He said to be, try to be a giver and not a taker. Um, make sure that your goal is not just for your resume. Um, and try to get to know some of your fellow people here. Um, be honest, and then I like to, I'd much rather hear people say at my funeral, he was a great guy and a good friend, that he was really confident, so I thought that was good. Um, so there, and then uh, Florian, don't always take, give back. Um, and then DJ, uh, DJ's a developer advocate, and that's another icon you see there, he's a developer ad advocate. Um, he said, follow your interests and passions. So, um, now I'd like to uh, open it up for, Q&A. So Tammy, first of all, thank you. And I really mean this, not that you are here and taking the time to have this um, call, but really sharing your, your wisdom and the, the long time experience that you have. I mean, I really liked how you showed in the demo how you actually publish blog posts. I mean, this, this just gives a real, real, example of of how you do it and how others can do it so and also i like how you recommend that engaging with blog posts or any content that you read is just so valuable especially when you give feedback because from feedback everyone can learn and i'm impressed of the number of karma credits that you have so <laughs> even i can learn so much from you so i'm um, even though, I mean, I'm saying even I, as I have so many insights coming from the community team, but there's so much to learn. And I like how much different aspects you shared of the community. And most of all, I like how you even um, share from other contributors, from other very important people at the com um, from the community and, and, and what experience they share. So really, really like how you pull in really the community into this call, <laughs> so, so this is all from my side, but I really want to invite also the attendees in this call to um, express their opinions or their questions, comments, and you can also speak up. So um, just raise your hand, there's a raise your hand button. I can then as a host allow you to talk and um, yeah, how you like. So write in the chat, ask your questions comments 
<laughs> one thing I forgot about is the wiki. The wiki is awesome too. I, I didn't touch on that at all. I completely, I didn't think of that till this morning. <laughs> but the wiki, I, the wiki is a host of information and, and uh, that comes up in the search results. There's a lot of great content. That's where the inside tracks are uh, uh, located and, and listed, but there's a lot of SAP support uh, knowledge in the, in the SAP community wikis as well. So I forgot to mention that today. I didn't think of it till this morning. <laughs> no, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't contribute to the reputation, but we don't care about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it's. Um, I mean, I don't want to put you on the spot. You are, anyways. But it's one of the best calls, community calls that I attend, and I'm really glad this is recorded for everyone who is not attending, um, can still have their part and listening to this. Um, yeah, with that, um, I see, I see comments. Congratulations, nice one, Tammy. <laughs> Thanks for attending, everybody. Yeah, thank you. And also, I see F Phil <laughs> attending from Australia, which is also, I mean, we're oh spread goodness. all over the world. So oh, it's wow. really amazing how uh, we can make those calls um, available for everyone, depend no matter which time zone. Okay, then let's wrap up this call and now say, um, yeah, have a nice have a rest of day and weekend. Yes, <laughs> and talk Bye. to you soon. Bye. Bye.